my nose was bleeding earlier, so if it starts bleeding again, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, what's up you guys? It's Katie Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of my face. Today, I'm going to be doing another like makeup video because I recently ordered a couple things from ColourPop. So I thought that I would do a kind of haul and then recreate a like fancy look that I find either like on Pinterest or Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Because if you guys saw my last video, oh no. I can't do makeup, so we're gonna try it again today um, and see if there's any difference in the results when I'm trying to do like an actual look. So let's just get into it. So because of my lack of planning, we're actually gonna find a look together. Um, I'm gonna start on Pinterest. Be sure to follow my Pinterest, by the way, if you are not. Also, this is gonna be kind of hard because I am not a beauty guru, so I have very limited supplies. So we're gonna see what we can do with the little supplies that I have. <laughs> None of these are really like hitting it for me, you know? You guys, this is actually really hard to like even find something that I'm like... Ooh, this is pretty. I'm gonna like, you guys can see it here. I don't know if I have the colors, but I think we could try it. I think that this is the one that we're gonna try. So we're gonna go ahead and save that and see if possibly your girl can do it. Okay, so one of the first things that I got was this ColourPop Press Powder Face Bronzer and I haven't tried any of these things yet So I guess this will also be sort of like a um, like a first impression So I have this it comes in this cute little like thing with a mirror So we're going to try this and like I said if you guys know me, you know that I can't fucking do makeup So like we're in this together Basically, if you can't tell, I'm just copying the eye look off of Pinterest and the rest of it is just gonna be what I think is, oh my God, that looks so aggressive. It doesn't look that bad. Like, okay, actually no, it looks pretty bad. For the insane number of like beauty tutorials and like makeup videos that I watch, um, it is insane how horrendously bad at makeup I am. I mean, I think it could be worse, so that's a good start. I guess. As far as this uh, bronzer goes, I think that I like it. It's just more a matter of like me knowing how to use it versus not. Anyways, next, uh, because I'm tired of seeing my eyebrows look like this, we're gonna do them really quick. So the pencil that I use for my eyebrows is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil, and I actually ordered a whole five of these, but when I got my package, there were only two of them in there, but customer service was like super great, and they said that they would send me the other three, so that's great. So this is what I use. It's got the little like spoolie on the one end and the pencil on the other. I like that it is like super tiny. That way, like out towards the end of my brows, I can just like do the thing. Another thing that I repurchased is the Brow Boss Gel. Uh, I'm a really big fan of this. I'm almost out of my other one, so I just figured I would buy another one because I really like it. It just in the shade, I think it's just like the light brown one. I'm like, I've heard that this has been highly compared to the like Glossier Boy Brow. Um, however, this does not cost $28. That's nice, especially for my college student bank account. All right, another fun thing that I bought was this color, oh, just kidding, this isn't the right thing. The highlighter and it's called Super Shock Cheek. Uh, it's like a highlighter in the shade Thimble. And again, I haven't tried this before, so we're gonna see how it works, if I like it. La, 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 la. You know, I feel like I'm offending mm, beauty gurus everywhere just cause my technique here is non-existent. And then I see people do this thing. Oh, that was so much. All right, so now back to the actual shadow part because um, that's, I'm guessing what most people wanna see. Again, this is the picture that we're gonna go after. Might be a little bit ambitious, don't know. In regards to eyeshadow, I have two palettes. They are both very, very tiny. I have this gross little one. Um, it's actually not gross, it's just dirty. But it's from Milani. I bought it before prom my junior year of high school. So <laughs> it's, a little, it's an old one. And then I have the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette that my friend got for me. Uh, and that's all I use. And honestly, most days I don't even use eyeshadow, so. I also bought, I don't think that this is going to be the exact right color, but it's like a shimmery, like separate 
you know thing that i figured i could try to put on my lid and see if it worked so it's a uh color pop super shock shadow in the shade pledge glass pledge class i can't read kind of looks like the one in the picture so i'm thinking that we'll be able to use it we're just gonna jump into it i guess so i'm gonna start off with the shade vibrate from the petite heat palette i'm just gonna put this all over my eye socket wait fuck i just realized that this is a cut crease i don't know how to do that i've never done that in my life i don't even think i have the right tools for that i think that we might have to just like improvise a little bit okay i don't know what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use the colors from the picture and try to do something um that doesn't involve the cut crease because i don't know how to do that i don't know i'm not a beauty guru okay then we're gonna take just a teeny 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 tiny bit of this bright ass orange and put it like here i end up looking like a crackhead after this however we're trying okay all right next we're gonna take this like kind of like darkish reddish color called heist and i've never actually used this one before but we're gonna just take a tiny bit of it and like pat it out here because i feel like the outside is not dark enough i look like i might have contracted pink eye all right then like right in this like outer corner looking thing she's got this like really dark red color so we're gonna take strike which is like the darkest color in this palette which i am scared of she looks pigmented but we're just gonna put like a tiny bit of this in like the outer corner i'm scared of her though and i just want to keep this in this like outer corner i think is at least what it looks like in the picture. One thing that I don't understand with beauty gurus is how they can do one eye at a time. I feel like if I were to try to like do my whole one eye and then go back and do the same thing on the other side, I just couldn't do it. Honestly, I think that this could look worse. This is what my hand looks like, you guys. I feel like a real beauty guru. All right, so now we're gonna take this like gold, like really shimmery color and not be able to open it because i'm a dumbass with no fingernails okay so now i've got a little bit of water on my hand and a little bit on my brush because that was what natalie from bare minerals told me to do it was actually like supposed to be using this uh this kind of thing for like a loose shadow so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the end of our little thing and we're just gonna fuck this up a little bit hopefully that's not like bad okay so i'm just gonna put this like right in the middle it's not like as good as the girls in the pinterest thing but like, I'm, I like this. This eye is harder because I can't keep this eye open. <laughs> I'm a fan of this. I kind of want to put it on my face. Oh shit. Oh no, that is orange. <gasps> no, 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 no. F oh, that was more. <laughs> Oops. I got glitter on my face. Black jeans for this video was probably the worst idea I've had in my life. Just put a little bit under my eyes. Cause that's the thing that the beauty gurus do. Good work team. Okay, now for the scary part. If you guys saw my video last week, it was literally seven minutes of me struggling to do winged liner. There is a definite possibility that I could just ruin everything I just did with the winged liner. However, if it does work out, I think that it'll look really, really good. So I'm willing to run that risk and absolutely fuck up this uh, look for the liquid liner. So we're gonna try it wish me luck i guess okay i think we're gonna try to do this eye first because this is the eye that is generally harder for me that way it can only go up from there this is a learning curve and we're on it i'm not really a fan of how it goes like down and then up but i don't know how to fix that we're just gonna leave that one be for a little bit and we're gonna try this eye and we're just gonna see how it goes and see if we can like make them look somewhat the same okay this one looks better okay okay i see you me at myself i see you because this year i decided that i'm going to start practicing healthy narcissism which is uh, a thing that i like to call similar to self-love but it's just a little bit extra because i'm a leo the liner is not the most like sharp thing ever however this part of the wing definitely looks better than this side there's like a good balance of you know it looking okay and being a little bit fucked up so we're gonna call it that 
Oh wait, fuck, I forgot I, I forgot uh, mascara. Imagine having done this whole look and then forgetting to put on mascara. I think that we're done. This wing could use a tiny bit of cleaning up. However, y'all know I don't fucking know how to do that. So this is what we've got. I'll do some close-ups. Alright, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing down below and hitting the notification bell. The way you get a little ding when I upload. This is my favorite comment from last week's video. Do -do 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 -do. Yes. So if you'd like to be featured in next week's video, leave a comment down below and let me know who your favorite beauty guru or makeup human is, either on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, wherever. Uh, that way I can maybe find some more looks to copy in another video. But yeah, so let me know who your favorite makeup human is in the comments below and I'll take my favorite and feature in next week's video and hopefully I'll see you then. Bye.